Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I'm so excited about today's video. Today is a collab with my friend Allison Krauss here on YouTube. She is awesome. I don't even remember how we found each other, but I'm so happy that we did. I know that I found her, I believe, and I subscribed to her channel, and then we just started commenting on each other's videos, and we very quickly became friends. And I asked her if she wanted to do a collab with me, and I'm so lucky that she said yes, because she is amazing. She is genuine, she's down to earth, she's sweet, um, she's real, you know, and her channel is really awesome, and she's very talented at makeup. So um, she's started doing some hauls as well, which I absolutely love, because I love seeing what other people have bought, even though it kind of makes me want to go out and get some more stuff. But we were talking about what uh, palettes we have in common, and we have a lot of the same palettes in common, but one of them was a few palettes from Juvia's Place, and this was one of them, which is awesome because I haven't done a look with this on my channel yet. This is the Saharan by Juvia's. This is the original Saharan palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Very pretty very unique like this is a green duochrome kind of shade this gold is stunning like this palette is just beautiful and so we decided we were each going to do a look with this and do a virtual collab so i hope that you guys will go over and check out her channel and subscribe to her channel she is awesome and it would mean a lot to me and just leave her some love in the comment section and let her know that i sent you i will link her channel on a card and put it in the description box below and let's get started so I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about it and there are so many looks that I want to do because I already have shimmer on my eye. I mean, on my eye, on my <laughs> fingers from touching the palette because it's a lot of the eyeshadows are very shimmery. I'm still doing the foundation on my eyes as primer. Um, something that one of my friends, the other Anya here on YouTube, I saw her do and I tried it and I actually like it. So I'm just going to pat that in. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I've been going back and forth between the colors of what to use and I think I know what I want to do, but I don't generally plan out my looks. So I hope you guys have been having a good weekend. I'm going to just pop on some primer real quick before we get started. My hair is very frizzy today. <laughs> um, it generally does that when it's raining outside and it's freshly washed. So, And we've just had either cold and windy or rain for the past like three days. You guys know what I did over the weekend, so let me know in the comment section down below what you did over the weekend. Other than going to the bazaar, I have some lip stuff on my lips. Um, it is this stuff. I was like, where did I put it? It's the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Lip Booster. So that's why my lips look greasy. Um, other than going to the bazaar over the weekend, um... I just did a lot of errands, chores, just stuff and things. Okay, so I'm going to go into the shade Lulu first, which is this peachy tone right there. And I'm just going to pop that in my crease. And I'm just using this random like Morphe brush. And I'm only going to pop a little bit of that in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with the bright red, which is called Sokoto, and this is bright red. As you guys know, Juvia's Place is my favorite eyeshadow formula. I don't know how they create such amazing eyeshadows with, like, for the price. Like, it's insane to me how inexpensive Juvia's Place is because I don't think I've paid more than $25 for 
a Juvia's Place palette and that was when I bought the Masquerade palette and that was the first um, Juvia's Place palette I bought. But I bought that without knowing that they did like, you know, any kind of codes or anything like that. So, and it was when, like I said, when it first came out. So I think that's why it was like full price. Actually, I think when a palette first comes out, they don't offer a code for it. I'm not sure. I mean, I know that they still offer the influencer codes, I think, but... But I think that's the most that I've paid for one of their palettes. Okay. So now that we look crazy, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild brush. And I'm going to take Iman, which is the Frosty White Duochrome shade. And I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. And it's going to look crazy before it looks good. Okay. Um, hold on. Put a little bit more on this one side. For some reason, I always take my eyeshadow up higher on one side than on the other, and then I feel like I have to even them out. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but... And I don't mind taking my eyeshadow up high, but I'm like, why don't I take them evenly up high? You know what I mean? Does anybody watch The Walking Dead? Don't worry, I won't give any spoilers. But my opinion on it, finally. And I know that sounds terrible, but... just not one of my favorites okay now I'm gonna go into uh, I think I'm gonna go into uh, Boro Boro which is this beautiful like reddish pink duochrome ish shade it's sort of a duochrome sort of just a metallic and I'm gonna take it on this wet n wild brush and I'm just going to put it along most of my lid and into the outer crease area. I mean the outer V area. Their metallics are just stunning. They're so metallic. And I was glad that Allison had a lot of the Juvia's Place palettes because I am trying to do a look with each of them. Okay. Now that we're looking more crazy, I'm going to take the shade Wadabi, which is the gold shade. And that is really gold and you guys know that I normally always use glitter glue with my like shimmery shades and I probably could have today as well but I feel like with Juvia's Place you almost don't have to I mean if you want it to be like you know bam in your face see from space kind of metallic I guess that would help but I just don't feel like you necessarily need the glitter glue when it comes to this brand this gold is insane Whew. this is one of the palettes that I have not used as much I mean I when I first got it I did a ton of looks with it and that was before I started my channel and then I just kind of set it aside and forgot about it I don't know why I'm just going back into Boro Boro 
and kind of feathering that into the gold. I really wanted to use that green. I think I'm going to put the green duochrome on my lower lash line. But I was like, no, but I really want to use the gold and the and the pinkish one. Now I'm going to go into the shade Chad, which is a just straight up black shade. Well, I guess it's not really, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much straight up black. It looks like it has a tiny sheen to it, but it's mostly just black. And I'm just putting that on the very outer and kind of bringing it into the crease just to deepen up the eye look. I just love, 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 love these eyeshadows. What I don't love is this cold rain we've been having. I need to talk to Mother Nature because I feel like if it's going to be cold, then it should be snowing. Oh, that's another thing we got this weekend. We got an extra hour, right? That was fun. I forgot about it until all of a sudden I looked at the clock and I was like, wasn't it just you know, two o'clock and now it's one o'clock. And then I was like, oh, it must be. The clocks went back, but which is weird because normally doesn't that happen in October? I could have sworn, this is my makeup wipe, there it is. Um, I could have sworn that normally happens in October, but for some reason this time it happened in November. I could be totally wrong. Oh, these makeup wipes smell so good. I just love them. I also don't mind this makeup look, even though it's more neutral than what I would normally do, but All that is not easy to get off. <laughs> I love the way these makeup wipes smell. I'm not crazy about the way that they <laughs> remove makeup. I know that sounds terrible. I mean, I like I like using them in the morning when I have no makeup on to like refresh my face. Um when it has no makeup on, but in order to actually remove makeup, not the best, not the best. Um, I am going to pause and do my foundation off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner junkie, which is a forced green from Urban Decay. I already put on my powder and I'm just going to let it sit for a few. Oh yeah, I think that green eyeliner as my eyes go all wonky will definitely help the green eyeshadow, which is called Kia. And I'm just going to run the green along the lower lash line. Such a pretty shade. I definitely want to do an eye look in the future where I put it on the whole lid because I just love it. Green is my favorite eyeshadow to put on myself. Ooh, my eyes keep going wonky. I got powder in them. Okay. Now I'm just going to dust that off. Okay, Duke. And then we're going to go in with blush, which I'm going to use the Julia's Place blush palette again. This is the Saharan Volume 2. Oop, there we go. And 
I'm going to go in with B and Lena. Just to... Oh, those are so pigmented. Which, you guys know, I like blush. Like, I like very pigmented blush. I like that you can see the green. That's awesome. Whoa. <laughs> it's like you're going along, you're going along. It looks great. It looks great. What have I done? We'll fix it. It's okay. We'll fix it. Oh my goodness. All right. I know you guys saw that. It was like, fine, fine. And then, oh no. Okay. I think I got it. I'm going to put on some mascara. My Volumazing Revlon Mascara. So besides The Walking Dead, I watched a show called How It Really Happened or something like that. It's like a news type of show. And they did um, a story about Selena and then about Whitney Houston. Both really sad. Speaking of sad, I was actually more sad than I thought I would be about The Walking Dead. I know earlier I was like, finally, but, you know, I actually found myself being sad. Sometimes... Sometimes I don't feel like mixing mascaras. I think today is one of those days. I was trying to think if I saw anything else good this weekend. I did not. I'm so mad at myself for not going to see the movie Halloween in theaters before Halloween. But I feel like I could still go see it. As long as it's still in the theater, which I don't know if it is. I'm just going to spray my face. It has to be, right? It can't have only been in the theater for like a week or two. And I'm going to use a highlighter that I have been neglecting. It is the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra highlighter in Cloud 9. This is what it looks like. And I'll turn this off. It has kind of like a orangey peachy sheen. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to use this eyeshadow brush. That might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Let's just fix that. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me color switch it and make sure there's no eyeshadow. Like none left on there. Okay. pretty. I bought this one and Space Baby, I think is the blue one, because I was like, oh, I have to have those. Like, have to have them. I did not have to have them, spoiler alert, because I've hardly used them since I got them. And I thought I would definitely use them during Pinkoween, um, but I ended up using my Halloween themed ones so okay I'm gonna use the Midnight Cowboy lip liner well that's actually in person it has like a real like intense sheen I'm gonna use the Midnight Cowboy lip liner from Urban Decay I don't know if they still have this shade. I just know it was on sale on their website one time and I bought like 10 of them. Okay. And I think I just want to use uh some gloss today because my 
no that's not gloss well maybe i will use liquid lipstick because yeah i'm gonna use liquid lipstick i'm gonna use dopey from ColourPop. i've been using this one a lot lately i just love it it's like a it's just like a typical nude like your lips but better And I think with this intense eye, it will look nice. It will look a nice. It will look nice. Okay. Get my hair out of the way. So that is the final look. I will put close-ups on my Instagram. And thank you so much for Al to Allison for doing this collab with me. I'm so happy that I found you as a friend. I'm so happy that we can support each other and you know build each other up and be there for each other so um i'm very lucky for all the friends that i've made you know not just content creator wise but subscriber wise like i'm so thankful for every single one of you and yeah so i hope that you guys will definitely go check out allison's channel subscribe and i love you guys and i will see you in my next video i'll talk to you guys soon bye